What's up, everybody? Today we're going to learn a trick from Chris Ramsey, and this is an iPhone trick, so you can produce a playing card on the lock screen of your phone. Before I jump into the video, I just want to say this is a new style of video which I'm going to try. When I was talking to Daniel Madison before, he suggested doing something like this, so when you're doing magic for beginners, so you actually learn along with the tricks that the other magicians and stuff are doing. So we're going to go from there, so it'll give a, a nice insight into the tricks, if there's anything different that I would do, any of the presentation skills, or anything like that. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I've got this nice little setting set up, so I've got a Premiere Pro, so I can stop and start the video whenever I need to and go from there. So let's go. <laughs> That's right, Chris. No. <laughs> so that was Chris's old intro. I used to love seeing that when I used to watch his tutorials when I first got to magic. And I still look back at some of the older videos and see that again. <laughs> What is on the intro, and then there's the trick, and then there's the bullshit. But this is hopefully going to be a little bit different. Yeah, sometimes it's fun to break the format. Used to love the. Uh, we used to do the, the transitions between the videos and stuff like that. Just all the transitions. Used to be really popular with all the, the vlogging channels back in the day. Bit of nostalgia there. So again, this is a really good performance and a really good way to showcase the trick. Instead of having the spectator hold your phone, you can always just have your phone face up on the, the table or anything like that. It's not going to make a difference as long as the lock screen doesn't come on, then that's okay. So there's one way you can do this trick, you can go the way that Chris Ron is doing, so it's a piece of the past that I, I took this picture, blah blah blah. You can do it in a different style, so you could force a playing card onto them, and then you can pretend to try and take out any playing card. Is this your card? No. Is this your card? And then be like, hmm. Well, I think what I actually did is, uh, took a picture of your playing card this morning, and I actually set it as my background, so when I was going to do the trick, your playing card would show up. And then when you're doing it that way, it's a really nice effect, and it's very personalised to that spectator when you're doing the trick on them. So he's forcing the playing card on them there, so your chosen picture that you can have on your phone, that's the card that you need to force on the person. It doesn't have to actually be a card, you can do this trick with anything at all, as long as you're going to have something on the back of the playing card, or more on the back of a piece of paper, or something like that, so you can actually turn it over on your lock screen on the phone. <laughs> So again, he's just put the card on top, put the cards away, and he's going to sort of say, I took this picture before, and it's going to be your card. If you want to add a little bit more to the story, then you can do, and um, you can lose the card in the deck, like I said previously, if you want to lose it, and try and find it, and say, oh, I'm not finding it, I'm not finding it. Hang on, let me try this. I'm sure that earlier on this morning, I had a vision that I was going to perform this trick, and this was going to be your chosen player card, so I took a picture on my phone, and this is going to be it. <laughs> The other thing that you want to do if you want to add a bit of comedy to it is so you can say, Look, on the phone, I've got your playing card, it's just the back of the card here. There we go, that's your chosen playing card. Then obviously, you can do the revelation after that as well. So, when he's doing that bit, you can see the back of the card. And you can flag it and say, look, as you can see here, that card is exactly the same. Hold up the back of their chosen playing card and do it that way, or any other playing card, and show it off as that comedy effect. <laughs> well, as you can see there, when they do the whole revelation, they're actually doing it in their hand, and you can see the card turning over, it's their chosen card. He's thinking, how the hell's he done that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to teach you guys that, but I'm not going to teach you to be here because these guys are a secret. So, what I'll do is I'm going to actually travel to the past this morning where I taught it. So, let's do that. So now you're seeing the performance, and you probably know bits and bobs when I've been talking about it, but this is the tutorial section of it and how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, in this video, this one's going to be quite short compared to some of the other tutorials I've got on the channel, especially the last one I did with the scripter, which is over 20 minutes. But again, in the near future, I'm going to be hoping to create more of these videos, include all, all magicians, a lot more tricks and stuff like that. Go over some of the old stuff that people may have forgotten about and give it a, a revamp and a re look at so people can learn it again. You know what? It's kind of really so one of the things that I love the thing with this trick though, when you said it's a sort of throwaway idea, the thing that I like about it is that it's on your everyday carry, every day you're going to have your phone with you, you're always going to have your phone with you, so you can do a number of these pictures and have different things to reveal, and whatever tricks you're going to do, you can put that as your background, then no matter what, you're always going to have that phone, if you don't have a different card, you can do something with a piece of paper, so you can have something wrote on the back of that, or you can do a magician's choice, so you can force a playing card without actually having playing cards, go through that motion and then that playing card ends up on the phone. And like I said, it's very versatile as well, so it can be used for anything at all. First off, uh, this works with the iPhone. Possibly. There may be something now where you can have an Android Live 4 or come up. I'm not too sure because I'm um, iPhone myself. If you can do it with Android or Samsung or anything like that, please leave it in the comments below and I'll look into it. I do have an Android phone, but I don't use it. It's just like a, a backup one that I got. And if people mention about you can do it on Android, then I'm happy to bring up the Android phone and give it a go. First of all, all you need is the The thing that I want to say about the car to you is if you're using a blue bicycle back when you're performing and on your phone you have a picture of a different deck. It doesn't really work as well, whereas if you just have the same thing, so using by blue bicycles, then take a picture of the blue bicycle, etc, etc. Just so the continuity of the actual car itself is the same, it just gives that a bit more effect. This is not actually the point of like I said, you don't have to use it on a deck of cards either. You can use it on a blank piece of paper or sort of a box or something like that. You can have it so it wrote on the other side of the box. Show the box one side, flip it over, and now it's got the writing on there. It doesn't have to be with a playing card. You can also do that on the bottom of the deck when you're doing the little shuffle. So, for example, this card here, two diamonds. So, you can do a swing cut, hold your break, you lift it down, hold it up, and then when you show that, that's their chosen card. Another way to force a card is have the chosen card that you want to force on the bottom of the deck and just grab deck cards like this. And then when they say stop, show them that, and that is their chosen card. So now we're going to go into the index tutorial of how you get that picture on your phone. So this is the playing card. This is the card I'm going to take. I'm going to make sure this is on. This up here is a live photo indicator. That's up, and that's on me. You have it on the photo. All you're going to do is very simple. You're going to turn the card this way to see the back of it. And you're going to take a photo. And then just show that side. So again, the most important thing is when you have the camera, make sure it's in live mode. Make sure when you take a picture, you show the back of the card. Then once you've taken a picture, you flip it over. And um, because that's a live photo, it captures video or photos after you press the shutter button. And that's when you get the effect of turning the playing card over. And obviously, you won't get the audio captured on that, you'll only get the video and put it in the background. So then, very simple, you go to your settings, once you're set, so I'm going to do that now, I'm going to take a picture of a playing card, and I'm going to do it in live mode, and then go through the settings to set it as my home screen. So again, I'm going to turn my camera here, up in the top, you've got live mode, so you just want to tap that. When you tap that, you see that live come on, and that's live activated, so you can take a live photo. So as you can see here, I've got my live photo, and obviously when you just hold it, 
You can see that the card's going to flip over and that's chosen card. So I'm just going to go and set it as my background now. So if you've got the settings and there's a wallpaper option. So you've got wallpaper and it gives you the option to set it for the home screen or the other one. So you click on choose a new wallpaper in all photos. Select your photo and as you can see there, there's a wallpaper and you can just sort of zoom it out a bit, position it on. So how you want it looking on the screen. You can see there, I'm just going to put mine in the middle just so it's uh, nice and okay. And the thing on the bottom is well, it's got live photo. It's got live photo on at the minute, but it may have live photo off. So all you need to do is make sure that it says live photo on so it'll work. You do a step, and set as lock screen, and that goes through setting background as lock screen and takes you there. So now when I lock my phone, that is my lock screen. You see there, put my finger on it, and the car flips over. And just like that, it's so, so easy to do it. Really, really easy to do. It's just a case of taking a picture, setting your background, all done. Like you said, it could be a name, could be an object, could be anything, could be a place, could be anything like that. So maybe you could have a postcard, so you can have a postcard written on the back and saying this is your prediction of the place that you want to go. And then when you flip the postcard over, it's got like New York or Paris or something like that. So you could build up a routine for your magic where the end result is going to be the reveal of this postcard with the chosen place on. Just adding that on the phone, you like, oh. And on that note, I also have a package which I need to open up. It's got some awesome first round of stuff in. One of them is the YouTube figure, which I got months and months ago, but I've not got around to uploading the video or unboxing or anything like that. And I've also got a deck of the first Hollow Edition coming as well, so looking forward to getting that unboxed and getting a review of that. And in the near future, I'm also going to be doing a video which is comparing the first V1, V2, V3, V4s, and Hollow, showing the differences between them, the designs, and all that other sort of thing. So, really looking forward to shooting that. I think that's going to be another long video, but it should be really interesting and really worth it. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed that video. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of these in the future, so I'm going to be taking some old videos from different editions and tricks that I've learned in the past and giving them a revamp. Go over them because a lot of people may have forgotten about them or want to put them back in the routine or something like that, or it's the first time seeing it. But it's nice to, to get a different perspective on it as well. I'm also looking to do some stuff with the, the David Blaine and the Dynamo and that sort of thing. So, rather than going through the tricks and exposing the tricks, it's watching it going along with them and seeing the different dynamics that he does, the way he says certain things, or the way he's sort of implying to someone that this is going to happen, or this is the way it's going to happen, that sort of thing. It'd be really good to go over the mindset of the tricks rather than just saying, that's how we do the trick, that's it. Oh, I really love going behind the mechanics of things and how people tick and how people want to make the tricks work and how they work, so I'm looking forward to doing some of those videos as well. So if you enjoyed the video and if you watched this far, please give the channel a subscribe if you haven't already. I'm looking to get to 1,000 subs by the end of the year, so it'd be mint if you could do that. Uh, leave a comment below as well, say what you thought of the video, and also give the, the video a like, it really helps with the algorithm. Also, if you're looking for another really easy card trick to do as well, I've got one popping up just now. Um, this is the Coffee Chosen card, and it's based on the Broadway Reversal, so it's really easy for beginners. And until next time, see ya!